Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, since the release of Windows 11 24H2 on the 1st of October, the update has been rolling out gradually, as I've been posting, and has not been without its issues. And I have posted a couple of videos, just a quick recap, on issues um, that we know about so far in Windows 11 24H2, where the first video was about um, Microsoft officially confirming six known issues. And one of those known issues was the Intel Smart Sound Technology drivers, which is actually affecting me firsthand because I've got Intel Smart Sound Technology drivers on this device. And from time to time, whenever I launch my screen recorder, it blue screens and then restarts, which is getting a little bit frustrating. So the first is that we have six known issues that Microsoft has confirmed. Then I posted regarding two more reasons why you may not want to install Windows 11 24H2 just yet. And that's because of the SFC scan now bug that um, is keeps detecting errors and not fixing. And then Storage Sense, which is not deleting, well, it's showing that it's not deleting 8.63 gigabytes of Windows update cache. And Microsoft is rolling out fixes for these shortly which I'm sure we'll get uh, in our next optional bug fix update rolling out, possibly starting next week. And then the third video I posted was that Windows 11 24H2 is crashing with certain Western Digital S SSDs, and that's affecting the WD Black SN770 and the Western Digital Blue SN580 drives. And I also showed you a registry fix that you could attempt as a temporary workaround. Now, because of this, it seems now that Microsoft is going to be pausing the 24H2 rollout um, according to reports doing the rounds online. Where, um, because of these known issues and also the other issues that have been um, obviously reported to Microsoft on their feedback hub, Microsoft is going to be pausing Windows 11 24H2 on affected hardware. So this is known as a compatibility hold or a safeguard hold, which we have spoken about quite in depth on the channel previously. So there's a good chance if you have any of the issues we have looked at quickly as a quick recap in this video, there's a good chance that you may not be offered Windows 24H2, um, the 2024 update on your Windows update page. And... I think this is good because, first of all, um, it begs me to think, why did Microsoft start pushing out an update with six known issues? I think they should have worked a little bit longer on 24H2 before just pushing it out and um, starting the rollout on the first. Although in Microsoft's favor, it wouldn't be offered to, de to devices um, who have those known issues, as an example. I forced the update with the update assistant, so maybe that's why I'm experiencing those uh, driver issues with the blue screen, as mentioned. So just putting it out there, if you are not seeing 24H2 through Windows Update, there's a good reason why, and that's because obviously Microsoft is slowing down the rollout and is pausing it. And for whatever reason, you still want to attempt to try and install 24H2, you can use the Update Assistant, and you can also use Media Creation Tool and uh, you can download the ISO image file from Microsoft's website, as you may well know. And I did post yesterday, for whatever reason, if you want to bypass Microsoft's kind of hold on 24H2 and get Windows 11 24H2 early, I've showed you a workaround you could try, but as mentioned, not recommending it because obviously when you force an update where there's a compatibility hold, you are going to get some issues, like in my case, my my Intel um, drivers, the smart sound technology drivers are causing issues and mainly with my screen recorder and are crashing my device from time to time. So if you're not seeing Windows Update and um, Windows 24H2 on the Windows Update page, there's a good reason for that and that's because there's a compatibility hold on your system and Microsoft is slowing down the update and the rollout of the update to obviously try and fix these known issues. And hopefully with our next optional bug fix release update rolling out shortly, we are going to see some of these um, up, these issues um, being addressed, especially SFC scan now and that 
uh, storage sense update cleanup bug. But I'll keep you posted as I get information. So just putting us all on the same page. My advice is wait until you see 24H2 officially roll out on your Windows update page. That's my official advice. That's what I would do personally. The only reason I forced the update was because of this channel. So I can obviously keep you guys posted regarding the update. But um, that's my suggestion. But nonetheless, keeping us posted and I'll let you guys know if I get any more information. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.